Hey everyone, it's Brie. So today's video is on the super, super cheap way that you can use cloth for your period. Now before I go into any more detail in this video, I just want to say that this isn't the best way to try out cloth just to see if you like the way it feels because um, the way I did it this time feels nothing like when you use a, a cloth pad that's actually shaped and you know for that purpose. Uh, we have special materials, we make them as thin as possible and stuff and that's just not the case with these. So this is literally just a really cheap way that you can um, you know deal with your period but it's not the best or the most comfortable way. It is still more comfortable and disposable, I can you know vouch for that. Um, I have tried it, but I've only used it on once on my heaviest day of my period just to see if it works, and it definitely did. So, uh, without further ado, I'm just going to go into it. So, I set myself a challenge of hang on, I'll go into a little bit more detail first. So, I come from a wealthy middle class family, and to me, the idea that you would not be able to even afford disposable period products is just kind of foreign. You know, it just it just sounds like you can't afford your own period products to me. That that sounded, you know, kind of like, oh okay. But then I realised, you know, no, no, not everyone's as fortunate as me, so let me just see if I can figure out a way to help them because it's not just about the channel. I mean I might have money, that doesn't mean I don't know how to save it and spend it, you know, most effectively. So the way I did this was I gave myself a budget of ten pounds, which is roughly sixteen dollars, and I said, right, okay, you know, that's my maximum budget. Um, usually that would buy you maybe two, possibly three um, pads in the UK. It would buy one heavy and one regular, um, if, you used to, if you have the 9.5 inch regular, from my store, for example. So I had to figure out a way I could use it for the whole period because two pads is not enough to survive. Um, I definitely managed to achieve this and actually I managed to achieve it for under £5. Um, and actually under five dollars as well if you're in the US. So just stay tuned and I'll tell you how I did it. So the way I did this was to um, use a bit of imagination and the first thing I thought of was washcloths. So these toweling, terry toweling washcloths are the best thing you can do and actually you want the basics, most cheap, um, the cheapest ones you can find because they're only one layer and that'll keep them um, more thin. So this is a Sainsbury's basic range one. Sainsbury's is not the most cheap, uh, it's not the cheapest shop uh, say, uh, supermarket in the UK, but it's the one that's closest to us, so it's the one we always shop at. Um, so this is just a 12 inch, I think, 12 inch by 12 inch, uh, roughly, because it's the basics, um, flannel, or, fla or face cloth, I guess you could say. So it came in a pack of two for one pound. Um, that's not the cheapest deal I found. On Asda, I found you could get a pack of four for 85 pence. Um, I don't know how big they are though, so you might want to go and take your tape measure if you are anywhere near Asda and actually just see how long they are. But this is a super cheap way to do it. So you would only need, they say for the pads, you only need six to survive. I do not believe in that, but if you can, then two packs, you know, pound seventy will give you eight. So you could do it with eight. Um, as you can see, there is no waterproofing layer anywhere on this or any fleece layer. You can give yourself some more security by going to a fabric store if you're in the UK, Fabric Land's probably your best bet. If you're in the US, I'm guessing Joanne's probably pretty good. Um, and buy a fat quarter of um, polar fleece. Make sure it's polar fleece, not micro fleece or blizzard fleece, they don't do the same thing. Of polar fleece. Um, then just cut it, uh, just draw around your pad, fold it up how you would, because you can adjust the width of this you know, I folded it into four sections, so I've got four layers of toweling there. And just to give you an idea, in my pads when I use toweling, I'd use one layer of toweling for regular absorbency and two for heavy. Um, so four is definitely going to be enough, even without the um, waterproofing for the back. Um, you can get a fat quarter fleece and just place this on the fleece and draw roughly around it. Then just cut it out. Fleece doesn't fray, so once you cut it, it's not going to, you know start um, fraying everywhere. You can just cut it, you don't need to sew it or do anything else with it. Then you can just place that under this and that should help it to A, stop shifting if it is shifting for you, um, but also B, provides a moisture resistant barrier against your pants, so it may give you a little bit more um, security or you might feel a bit more secure with it in. Um, however, I wore this for an hour and a half on my heaviest day and I had only, uh, you can see this is folded into four, I had barely started bleeding through the second layer. So it's definitely absorbent enough to cope with a pretty heavy, uh, with a regular flow. My heavy flow is not that heavy, so that's why I'm saying probably a moderate flow would be easily held by this. 
Um, I also bought some off Amazon, but they said these were 9 inches and I got a pack of 8 for £3 something, but the, the largest one I think is this one and it's only 8 inches long. However, they are great for if you do have a heavier flow, you can fold this up, fold this up, and then you can actually take this and place it just inside in the, the area you need to. So you can see it's now kind of sandwiched between and that will add a few more layers of absorbency for you where you need it. It does make the pad thicker and these are thicker than the conventional pads as you can see. If I can press them down, if I can press them down they're not too bad. And they're probably about the thickness of a heavy pad, of, of a pretty heavy duty pad even. Um, but they are still comfortable. I put one in and it's, it's just the right length to be comfortable. This is a little rough and um, this is just plain terry. Uh, so you can go and have a look at Asda for that and that will be a super cheap way to do it for you. In the US, the dollar store is probably your best bet, I looked in it. Target does do a pack of 8, um, which are 12 inches for $3.49 I think. Um, but the Dollar Tree does, obviously for a dollar, um, a pack of 3 microfiber terry washcloths. Microfiber terry is usually softer as well, so that might be a bonus for you tends to not be quite as absorbent but it dries really quickly and absorbs really quickly so that might be a, a definite plus for you and one of the things I definitely noticed with this is I didn't feel quite so wet um, which I'm, I guess would be because this is such an absorbent fabric Terry is really absorbent um, so that was, a, that was definitely a plus for these uh, so that is the cheapest way I found to do it so obviously if you they have a pack of three um, if you got three packs you'd have nine which you could definitely do it with. Just every time you take your pad out of your panties and it's soiled, run it under the tap, holding it like this until the water runs clear, you know, zhuzhing it and everything and squeezing it out and all that. And then you can hang it over a towel rail to dry. Then it will, you know, you know, if the radiator's on, it will dry really quickly or put it somewhere warm, you know, that it's gonna dry out much quicker. Um, with eight, you should definitely be able to do it in a rotation if you do it that way. At the end of your period, you can then stain treat them if you're worried about that, or if you're not bothered about stain and you just want to find a way to do you, you uh, sorry use a cloth for your period or to use uh, anything on your period to make it really cheap, then this is definitely something you should consider because it's so much cheaper. Biggest tip, wear tight-fitting underwear, and it sometimes helps to wear tight-fitting jeans over the top because that just helps keep everything in place. Because as you can see, there aren't any wings. Although that does mean when you're doing things like cycling and that, you don't have any popper that you can feel, or a snap, I guess we say poppers over here, that you can feel um, underneath you when you're sitting down. So it's definitely something you should consider. This is still much more comfortable than a disposable. I can definitely vouch for that. Um, these were okay, but I wouldn't recommend them as getting them, they're soft, but I just still wouldn't recommend them because they aren't what they say they were, they were Gerber, I think, a pack of Gerber wipes. But I wanted to see, you know, what they look like and they just are like that. I guess if you only bleed in one area these would be good, but folded up it would only be in three sections. So, that is the super cheap way to use cloth for your period. Obviously if you bought three, you'd only be spending three dollars, and if it was about a dollar, say, for a fat quarter of fleece, polar fleece, then four dollars. I mean, that's not, that's probably about the same you would spend on a box of disposable pads. Um, or actually, if you go up to five, if you buy four packs, then you'll have twelve, you will definitely be able to do it with twelve. And, um, you know, spend an extra dollar on the pearl fleece, five dollars. So for five dollars, you can definitely last a period using cloth, and then they will last for much longer than a disposable will. I would say these probably won't last as long as the pads we make specifically for the purpose, because as you can see, they are the more basic, cheaper range. They tend not to be made quite so well. Um, looking at this, it doesn't look like it's got any signs of wear on it so far. Um, looks pretty, pretty good. Um, in good condition, pretty well made. So maybe a year, two years, three years maybe, I probably wouldn't guess it would last any longer than that, but that's still less than, you know, sorry, still more than it's disposable which only lasts for one time. So um, I hope that helped you and that you feel like you might want to try it. It's also something that you could do if you're interested in trying cloth um, and you could only do it on your pocket money, say. It's probably the best thing for you as well, because you can go to the dollar store and stuff and just try it out. One thing I will say though, as I said earlier on, is it doesn't quite feel like a 
specific uh, pad that's been designed for your period does. It's a bit thicker, it doesn't feel as comfortable, but you can you can give it a try. You might find it's a little bit better for you. Okay guys, so I hope that was useful to you. Please like the video and subscribe to me and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.